I see, that's funny without even getting knowing it. Like, when I moved down here, I got a ton of random jobs to make ends meet. I used to sell honey at Los Angeles Farmer's Market. It was a low point. Uh, it was a low point, friend of a friend. But um, my dad would and he'd call and he'd go, how you doing? I said, you know, I'm really struggling to make ends meet. He'd say, well, you still hustling honey? It's like, who's, I'm like, yeah, dad, I'm hustling honey. Peddling bee nectar. Slinging sugar. Whatever I got to do to live this dream, dad. Whatever I got to do. I worked at CBS Television City as a page. We usher audiences for all the shows that tape there, and some of the shows tape on the third floor, so there's two flights of stairs, and my job was always to wait with the people who wanted to take the elevator. And we kind of have to watch everybody go up the stairs ahead of them, and they'd always turn to me in a huff and be like, well, <laughs> am I going to get a bad seat because I had to take the elevator? And I'd always be like, no, you're going to get a bad seat because you're handicapped. I... <laughs> okay. Everybody, everybody who came to CBS always had uh, celebrities on the brain, and they thought it was fun to tell which pages, which celebrities we look like. You know, that's fine, but if you're going to pull that card, I just think it should be an unspoken rule. It has to be an attractive celebrity. Otherwise, just pretend you can't think of somebody, all right? Because I always got the same person, and I'm sure teeny others has had some attractive phases. <laughs> Family Ties and Celebrity Fit Club weren't two of them, huh? How about it, Tina? Thank you.